A grisly discovery overnight. A man's body was found in a stolen car that was on fire. CBS 2's Candace Crone is live there in Westminster with the investigation. Candace? Yeah, and a tow truck just removed that burned out vehicle about 10 minutes ago. Right now, I want to show you investigators have shifted their focus to a parking lot adjacent to where they found that burned out car. You can see they've got crime tape surrounding that blue vehicle. I'm told the workers there have not seen that vehicle parked there before, and it's got some uh, damage, some collision damage. So officers are just uh, looking at it, checking it out as they want to look into all leads in hopes of solving this crime. I was sleeping and then I heard a loud bang. The flames were probably 10 feet above the, the block wall. Several people were jolted out of bed after hearing this burned out Honda burst into flames right behind a business on Industrial Way in Westminster. Just a giant black uh, uh, amount of, of uh, smoke that was just pummeling into the air. Firefighters put out the flames only to find the body of a man burned beyond recognition. Police say the car was stolen out of Garden Grove and don't know how long it had been parked in this industrial area. Investigators described the crime scene as gruesome. Some of the body is uh, appears to be in the back seat and por a portion of the trunk. The vehicle is so badly burned, it's it's hard to tell the configuration at this point. Arson investigators say a canine that's skilled at sniffing out accelerants detected some activity in and around the vehicle. Neighbors who live behind the warehouse say they often see a lot of homeless people sleeping nearby and believe crime has picked up. A lot of the buildings, maybe better than 50% are empty, but the, the, there's a lot that goes on. There's a lot of crime and stuff, so of course, yeah, it's really, it's, it's not even like kind of safe either to go out. And as you can see, there are several security cameras in this area. I must have counted probably about half a dozen on that building alone. So investigators told me that they will be reviewing that footage. There's a lot of it to go through. So they hope, they hope to learn more about how this fire started and who started it. We're live in Westminster. Candace Crone, CBS 2 News.